Hello there. I am back on Honorius, my uh, necromancer. Um, I had hoped that I would have him leveled up to 50 and would be able to start looking at actually farming to see how much money I can make and getting him uh, templated. Um, that's going to take longer than I thought it was. Uh, I'm at 47 and a half right now, so it's it's going well. I mean, I think my last broadcast I started at level 39, so that's not bad. But anyway, I'm still leveling. And for anybody who happens across this, um, I know it's not the most exciting footage to watch, and I'm sorry. Um, I will run an ad uh, break here because there's nobody on yet. Um, and that will prevent pre-rolls for the next half hour or so. So here's a couple of a couple of ads. And for anybody who subscribed, I'm still here. And we'll there. There. I don't know what was happening there. It kept flicking up to my Oh dear. We have a Lurie in the house. And he's orange to me, and if he tries to take me on, he's probably going to kill me because I'm not that good yet. Now, an unusual thing about this class to me is that I have to watch the abomination to be attacked, not me and that's kind of strange now i mean maybe the lurie says oh it's a class i don't want to fight but i imagine he's going to want to fight because you know out in the middle of nowhere looking for lower level people and here we are but i did see him stealth there and Although I'm going to get better at what I'm doing, I'm not there yet. Not by a bit. Okay, that ad break should be done. Drop that. I will minimize that. And we'll just see who goes up to fight here. See, I can, I can see why you might want to go with the PBAOE option, too. I expect a Lurikeen up the butt the moment I pull something, but I'm going to pull and find out. Because, honestly, if I die, well, whatever, right? I'm still leveling. Ah. 
got. There's Lurking Archer, a ranger. But I died to the Hasui Walk. Okay, your name is Dirt, if I catch you again when I'm fully leveled. Now, what should I have done differently there? I hadn't thought about archers at all, which is the first thing I should have done, obviously. Okay. Um, back to here. Go. Go. Oh, three seconds. Okay. I need a face button. But I'm not sure what I should do about archers. I have crap range. I don't have near sight or anything like that, which would be a useful defense. Um, so I can't just face near sight and away we go. I can't interrupt until I get to 1500 range, and they killed me at range, long range. So. Base is F by default. Yeah, I've got it on here, so I can just click on it if I see it. I haven't programmed it into my uh, controller yet, but but what am I going to do about an archer? I've thought about stealthers. I've been killed by one assassin so far. That's the first time an archer got me. Um, and I've thought about assassins, but I haven't had enough contact with them to find out how I do and I was lower level too um, but archers I don't know no but well I'd like to think there's some option other than dying I mean I could hit sprint and run away which is fine I did notice um, that in the secondary, um, I have a low-level PBAOE, uh, and it's it's not going to get high enough level to do real damage, but it'd be enough to unstealth somebody to screw up their PA and things like that. If I know there's somebody around, I can just get in the habit of clicking that. I don't have it programmed on the controller yet, but... If I get quick at that and I see, you know, see a stealther moving in and I, before they hit PA, I can hit that thing, then great. Um, it does take two seconds to cast. That might not work. Now, I don't know if this Lurie is still kicking around out here. But I don't know what to do with... I don't have any shield against bow damage. So maybe the option is actually flee, get out of range. It's actually quite interesting to me to try and figure out what the tactic should be. So I don't actually mind that the guy nailed me. Um, it has me thinking about it. Now, if I had something like SOS where I could charge in quickly to get into range, then I could start interrupting. But I don't have that as a tool. I just got the Abomination a little while ago, and man, it does good damage. Just over here. Did you see the name?
Thordan. Okay, somebody else. That's a mini. The funny thing is, I don't know if I'm actually going to end up PvPing on this guy at all. But I don't mind some realm rank, so that's fine. They kill me and I'm out in the frontiers, I get credit for that. Um, his original purpose was going to be just to farm. And uh, that was it. It's obvious the enemy is out. Really, I'm looking forward to figuring out a template for this guy, so I just want to get him leveled up. Um, Man, the top level pet hits like a brick. Except when I hit the wrong button. The debuff. Oh, okay, that was somebody else dying. I saw a red there and thought, oh, I've just been shot by somebody. But not so much. tap all the time. Well, power tap, actually. Yeah, with the debuffs, I've seen the pet hit for like 450, which is really quite cool. That's with the debuff, mind you, but the debuff is what I'm pulling with. My main spell is hitting. Pretty heavily too now. Which is cool. I originally thought, okay, I'll roll up a Necro because they're one of the two effective, three effective classes for farming that I know of. Um, Necro, Capitalist, and uh, uh, Animist. And I've tried Animist before and never figured it out. And I've tried Capitalist and didn't like it, although it's supposed to be very good. So I just, I haven't given it a good try, I guess. And I thought, well, I'll try Necro, but it's just gonna be a class I farm with. It won't matter. I actually really like it now. Oh, 
Okay, still got me. That was... That was Thordan. I mean, he hit me when I was fighting, of course. And I saw the red flash up there, and this time it was damage. And then I couldn't hit him, so this whole pile of you must have a pet summoned there, and then he killed me. It's really annoying. If he does it enough, I'm going to go fetch my infiltrator and fix that problem, but maybe he'd be happy with killing me once and move on to somewhere else. Uh, should have some recharges to pay for. Yeah. Still annoying. Um, teleport first. Has he? Okay. Can I teleport now? Thank you. What level are you, Crispy? Well, you could come hunt with me. He can't shoot two of us at once. If you want to. There, that should be those. Yes. What I got? Oh, Dex, and then Dex quick. Right. Okay. Now I know I'm looking for a cobalt. That's good. Yep, AF debuff and a life tap. Yep. Problem is the range is 1500 on that and he can hit me from outside of 1500. So I have to close first. Yeah, I know. He's going to... I'll space these fights out, but I expect he's going to wait until I'm fighting. Luckily, I'm pretty quick at these now. And really... <laughs> I only really have to do them every two minutes to get the mob drop.
Now, admittedly, I don't have to be leveling here. I could be down in Leoness somewhere, doing mobs down there. But I like the return on this stuff here. And, well, I kind of bought a ring and spent a lot of money on it. So I want to get up and level, but I also want to get my finances back too. Oh no what? Oh no, I'm on Alb again. Um Yeah, I'm sure. Well, like I said, if I hadn't spent some of it, um I'd be uh, doing pretty good. Oh, I was going to ask you, PNA. Um, I noticed somebody asking about getting um, bounty points or something. They were selling bounty points, rather. Um, what do you use the bounty points for? Are they something that you can buy some of the, the uh, gear from? So I've got a fair amount of those. Ray three specs. Okay. Don't really need to do any of those. I've picked the right race each time. Reskinning. Oh, good. I can reskin stuff. Sure. I got 33,000... Uh, bounty points saved up. I don't know if that's a big number or not, but this guy was saying that oh, it was five plat for 20,000 of them or something. It was a reasonable price. Hello, BC, BWC. Reskin to something cool. Cool. Not going to do it on the Necro because nobody will ever see it, right? Or I'll look really cool in the milliseconds before I die after somebody kills my pet. Um, but, you know, on uh, Chelsea or something, my imp, sure. This pet can hit like a truck. It's great. See the org is now a follower. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for following. Awesome. Ah, there we go. And I can't close fast enough. Same bastard, right? Thordan. No, this is Heisu Ryok, the other guy. I've had two guys, two rangers, picking on me here. And on uh, Crispy Taco. And I can't figure out what to do with them. I can't close fast enough to bring them in range, I don't think. Now, I'm sure I had the wrong reactions there. I probably should have life tapped earlier. Um, it's hard to judge a distance on somebody when they're busy killing you and they're shorter than you're used to for targets. Um, but. Yes, and I could have hit that. 
I have Juggernaut 1 because I figured when I'm a Necro, I am my pet. I mean, I, killing the, the Necro is an afterthought. You, they have to attack the pet. So if I get jumped by an assassin, I figure I'm going to be running Juggernaut so that I can suddenly make him that many more levels higher and therefore harder to hit, less damage, etc. Um, that's, that's the theory. Um, can't remember how long it lasts. 60 seconds. A minute. I'd have to life tap pretty quick. But that might work. I don't know. Oh, hello, Maddie. How you doing? Yes, I'm on. Getting my butt kicked. But I'm still leveling, so, you know, that happens. Um, and I just want four more of these things, so I'll go through a few fights, and then I know I've got a ready opponent there. Um, well, I don't have any idea how my uh, Necro here is going to deal with archers. And I've been getting ganked by two different archers. Um, because they have long range, and I have short. So about the only thing I can do is face them and then sprint. As a matter of fact, I'll put a sprint button right on the center of the console here since I don't have it programmed anywhere. Um, the only thing I can think to do is to uh, face them, sprint, pull away from them, and then they have to close to get at me. Then the only thing I'm really doing is backing away, right? Put my pet on passive and, uh, well, I better turn into a pet. Put my pet on passive and back away. Okay, Thordan just got killed by an armsman at Kerr Herbury, so he's suicided out or something. Um, which is fine. That means I have to deal with Hetsui Walk, who sounds like he's probably from Korea by that name. Right. I mean, this is not a fast pace. And if it's a, an archer, then they have speed. Well, I don't know if scouts have speed, but um, hunters and, and uh, the ranger have speed. I'm not going to be fighting a scout. It's fine. Yes. Uh, is that the one? If I can get this thing off on them too, weakening pain, um, that's a 50% slow. Yes, I probably need to get concentration. Right now I have wild power. Wild power three and, and concentrate, or wild power three and, and juggernaut one. Yeah. Well, the reason, the reason, the original reason I put that there was actually in case I encountered an assassin, I thought I might be able to slow them with that, back off and start uh, life tapping, right? Debuff, etc. But that's all theory, and this is the chance to practice, I guess, for archers. So what you're saying basically is um, he's going to appear on that hill up there. He's done it twice. He's going to shoot me. I am going to simply uh, put my pet on passive and move this way. Get out of range. Then the only way he can get into range is to charge me, whereupon I can charge back and try and nail him if he's moving. But otherwise, stay out of range. We'll see how that goes. Oh, 
Of course, if I can get inside 1500. Um, yes, okay, true, yeah. Heal over time. Yes, good point. Actually, quick cast heal over time is probably a really good start. It won't cure the pet entirely, but um, it couldn't hurt, eh? Man, I get missed a lot. No? Oh, it's shade cast. Okay, so as long as my pet doesn't run out of range entirely. Hey, free roam points. I'm now 2L1. Hey. Yes, well, yes, but I don't have much range. Yeah, I know, 2L1. I mean, come on. Dangerous. And completely mishitting the buttons there. But how many of these things do we have now? Eight. Two more. Um, could be. I didn't know there might be a difference. The abomination hits like a truck, and I really like that. But I didn't never thought about there being a uh, a choice. I assumed it was just an upgrade. That's interesting. Ah, okay. Yeah, when I think about it, this guy doesn't seem like he's casting that fast. But he does hit hard. Okay, well, next death I'll switch. If I switch right now, that's going to be... Well, I guess I can, can't I? Boom. Twenty seconds of, of potential immediate archery death. Such a long spell. Painfully long. There we go. No, I cast the same one. Insufficient coffee and operator error. Uh, that would be the servant. And we want the greater necro as well. So we'll just move that out of the way. Try this all again. I really don't like switching pets, though. Okay. Yeah, 
you're going to let me fire that off as well? You aren't. Okay. Oh, he's doing all right damage, too. 200 points a shot. Oh, I don't know if I pulled with the debuff there. Okay, sure. Awesome. one of those people that writes the very long, very informative, and highly valuable how-to uh, posts or makes videos, etc. That's okay. That's awesome when people do that. Okay, I have 10 of those. And I can still turn them in for 47. So I've got 8 bubbles to go on 47 to become 48. So I can turn these in. I'll get maybe halfway, like 47 and a half or something. I really thought that I was going to be playing a Necro because, well, I'll make money and then I can go spend it on other characters. But now I'm feeling about Necro the way I did about uh, Spirit Master when I started the game. Yes. Yeah, I've turned in everything. Um, I'm pretty sure. I got... 10 of these at a shot, and they're worth probably two bubbles. And then I have a ton of uh, Soil of Albion I can turn in if I can get to the dock in one piece. Um, and not that many Phoenix eggs because I've been turning those in regularly. Oh, and the task completion things, I can use those too. Right, it's after after the six o'clock PST hour. Okay, um, so we just want to go in. Um, boom. I find it very strange that there's a keep this close to one of the major keeps.
I am 47, uh, 47.2. And I think I've turned everything in, but I'll go check my vault. Maybe I've just been looking at account vault, but I probably have. Yeah. Okay, uh, these to him. Okay, they got me one and three quarter bubbles, but it's all right. And they're easy fights except for dying. Um, well, getting ganked. So another 20 minutes of doing that and I could be 47 and a half. And I doubt if I've got enough of everything else to actually get beyond that, but who knows. I'll head to the frontier part and find out. So yeah, I'm actually really liking Necro. And I know I've said that multiple times about multiple characters, but I, I really like this. Um, Drake Claws are... Okay, that is the account vault. And there is a regular vault keeper around here somewhere, isn't there? Vault Keeper. Right. LL Wine. Right. That was the stuff. Minimum level 45, max level 49. I can turn those in now. Yeah. That'll help a lot. Also suggests where I might want to go hunt next. So, done with that. Um, and that is somebody in Sauvage. Leonette in Sauvage. Okay. Um... Here, so uh, that's Snowdonia. So uh, boom. See what those are worth. That should help. Um, Leonette. Leonette. Hello, my love. Here, have these. Let's see, we are at 47.4, effectively, because it's just a hair under. Yeah, okay. That works for me. Um, how about some more of those? And the last batch. So... I'm on the last bubble of 47 now, which I can probably just jump back out to the frontier and turn in those Soil of Albion and get that, which would make me 48, in which case, Maddie, thank you very, very much. That's awesome. West, the other West. Um will be the necro servant instead of the abomination i really like the abomination for damage though man that's good sure thank you um i can also go to another docks right so although that would be out way out 
and far more populated. I've actually had pretty good luck getting to the dock. Oh, Ben was the other dock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why you can't go to all three. We do have it. Good. Sprint. Why did they put a dock mistress on all three docks? Well, yeah, sure, but there could have been three of them, and then we'd have choices as to where we ran. I guess by having only two, then really only one of them being viable to anybody at a uh, low level. They create a spot for stealthers to hunt. I mean, part of the problem in some ways is that New Frontiers is just too friggin' big. When the population isn't really at its peak, you could, if you didn't have any tools to move around easily and had to run everywhere, you could probably run for hours without seeing anybody. Moment of truth. Oh, you're kidding me. Do we have anything else? Oh, yes, we do. Right. Good. I can pop past 48 anyway. Which, since the spec I'm going to go for is 48 in uh, Death Sight, means I can get whatever spells I'm going to have in Death Sight, and that's it. That's as good as they get. Um, yeah, so we have... 22 task completion tokens, and it should be refreshed now, so I think I can turn in a few of those. Is it? I haven't looked at the chart. Okay. Well, then maybe I'm going to 50. I took a look at the care planner and thought that I, well, not having played the class at that point, that uh, it would be all right to go to 48 and then I can go to like 24 in uh, Servant, but. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Got to get there first. Where is Tavia? Here. How about that? Thank you. There. That's enough. It's not even a bubble, which is kind of annoying. Um. Oh yes, and that training thing. Forty-eight. So we get the red cross there. Intimacy with death. Oh right. I am 48, so I can't go above 48, so i got enough to get to there. So, update to Protector and Ferocity and Intimacy. Okay, so better buff there. Not huge. Um, 
we are not using the right one here. That would help. Um, we have Dead on, so no difference. Okay, then I might as well go with the abomination. I don't see any, re any reason. Yeah, okay. We'll switch pets again. There might be. No, I like the fact that he swings slow. It means he's hitting harder too, right? Like having a slower weapon. Yeah. Okay. Well, there is that. Now, I had other spells that I was going to pick up here from... Here, anything new? That's where I was. And here we have the latest one of those, which... Doesn't look, oh, it is bigger, okay. And then this, which is that there, which I never have any occasion to use, but that's okay. Okay, so now I want to turn in the Elils. So I need to find, oh, that's what I need. Bison, Phoenix, Alb. Bottles of LL wine, Pennine Mountains, thirteen fifty two. Pennine Mountains, there we are. Thirteen fifty two. I don't remember whether or not you read across and then up. That'll be right down here, won't it? By the LL Castle. Right down and over or is it over and then down but if I go near the Elil castle I should be able to find Elil villagers right that would make sense you'd think um, so Oh, you can't click that way. That's too bad. So if I jump into Renaris, then I can run over there. Yes. I presume that I'm going to find them uh, right down here near the Elil village. Near Renaris. Okay, sure. Gone with that. Realm map. Renaris, teleport, there we are, get rid of this, so that would be west I want to go, sure, where's the gate, there we are. have a follow button there okay close that one open up this one 
And we should be appearing right there. Yeah, okay, so just down in here, I presume. No, no, no. Wrong map. See, if, if Necromancer had speed, too, that would be awesome. Oops, that might have been kind of loud. I just hit the mic with the coffee there. Hellills. Okay. Sages and frog lords are casters and wind chasers. Oh, I didn't sell everything. Okay, one bottle of LL wine. Okay, I didn't get a voice on that. Oh, Viscerant. Hello, Viscerant. Thank you very much. Thank you for subscribing. I really appreciate that. That's cool. You have a sage as a pet. Okay. That was confusing to me because it looked like it was running right behind me. Take a while to get bottles of wine, I can see. Well, I know it is. 20 minutes if I pull continuously. So, you're going to be a kit caster, and we don't want to do casters, so screw them. Oh, how you doing tonight, Nesserin? <laughs> Two bottles of wine. Ah, uh, that was a bad count. Oh, I pulled the sage when I didn't mean to. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, turn the volume off. I don't blame you. And of course, you're in hip, so every caster under the sun. Oh, I'm sure it is. This is fine. I have, in my entire time playing this game, off and on since it came out, I've heard Albs talk about going to the LLs and never known where that was or what they were talking about. So, this is the first time I've fought these on anything. Oh, I'm out of power. I'm not paying any attention. Idiot. Too busy chatting. Um, so I'll just sit for a moment and hope not to get archered. 
Um, so this is the first time I now know where people are talking about. So yeah, I knew coming to here that I expected. Really? Awesome. Of course, I'm not on a pet class right now, but you know, well, not one where I can summon it. Um, oh, you can't, you can't drink a potion while sitting. Does this make any sense? Cool. Complete sense? Yeah. I don't know how many times I've thought, you know, I want to have a cup of coffee, but I really don't want to have to stand up to drink it. Oh, look. Oh, well, I've seen stupider things in many games, so... Yeah, only 20 years. I mean, really. Oh, so that was your LL Sage fireballing everything. That's kind of cool. guy seemed singularly ineffective there. Wow. That's cool. I'll have to keep that in mind when I'm playing my minstrel. I have to not lose sight of the fact that what I was supposed to be doing here was uh, actually getting stuff for my minstrel and eventually for the Scald over on Midgard. But I have a feeling I'm going to have a fully templated... Oh, thank you. Oh, sec. Wow, I didn't know there was that long a delay on it. Thank you very, very much. Um, oh, I do have more. Yeah, but that's like... No, 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 no. There was more than that, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, well, anyway, seven of the suckers is good. Sure. You're always welcome.
this is what happens when you don't hit that debuff. That debuff is just huge for my damage. That's why I've been pulling with it mostly. Yeah, he's hitting for... He hit for 344 there, and then I hit for 176 and 232. 344 is a pretty good hit. No? Sure, where are you? Okay. I will pull something with the debuff. You go kill it. I won't touch it other than that. Oh, you're getting them all now. We seem to have gotten everything. Yeah, I have a real problem here. Lack of health. Here we go. Dead. So, that, that didn't really work all that well. Um, but I can turn those things in. So, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. <laughs> it's funny, really. Um, that's sort of a, you know, oh, yeah, we can do that here. Hold my coffee. Total party wipeout. Release. Um... Where was I turning those things in? I am short of memory. Very short of memory. Sauvage. Right. Leonette. On the ground floor. Sauvage. I can do this thing. Um, right from here I can do this thing. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, well, one of them decided to peel off and, and take care of me en route. That was funny, though. Oh, right. I'm too close to having died, so I can't teleport, but I can go talk to Sister Elaine and pay the bill. Now we can port. I'm going to just... Confused on a higher plane. Okay. Uh... Did go to the right spot, didn't I? There we are. That's quite a bit of a difference, yes. Uh, bottles of LL wine. Boosh. Thank you for the almost a bubble. Okay. Um, and then trainer was somewhere around here because I saw the little... There we are, Tavia. I think I got a cell too. 
I'm feeling like I'm weighted down. Okay, and task completion. Not really worth it. Got to wait till tomorrow. Okay. Um, Mason and find somebody to sell to. Tinder merchant. I'm missing this. And so far I have plotted it all out in advance and it's generally kind of worked maybe. Is a third level. Ooh, there. I don't have enough to salvage that one item there. So we want to keep that item so that I can figure out how much I need to raise up my crafting there. Oh, there should be a page of stuff here to sell too. There. Okay, yeah, we're up. Since I started leveling this guy up, I am four and a half plaid up. It's just I've spent some of it. That's not the end of the universe. Okay. Um, I don't need to worry about the soil of, soil of Albion, the frontier. Oh yeah, I got to get the neck. That's true. Um, I thought salvage was good for getting the components and that you made more money off of the salvaging stuff. Yes, that's right, true. No, I did do it. I didn't think I'd done that. Um, what level is the net quest? Is it 50? Shall I wait until I'm at least 49 or something? 48 plus. Okay, so I could do the neck quest because what I'm wearing right now is meh. Sure, since I don't remember where I'm going anyway. Um... Diagil, right? Or is it Wirial? Wirial. Sure. I am in Wirial. I will get into pet mode. That'll take 20 seconds as is. And then some.
Right. Okay, the um, template I started working on, the only thing I have for it right now is, uh, well, I'll follow first. Um, who do I talk to? I remember this from the 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 hib side. I don't remember any of the people. If you know offhand. Ah. Good day to you. I can get stagger. Right, accept. Then where do we go? Go see Ohonat and Cardiojo. Right? And we run to teleporter and go to Diagil. Diagil. Right, right. Climb up the thatch. Okay, done that. Go and destroy the thing. Okay, now, macro, stick, slash stick. Okay, pets on passive. Talk to the Lamia and AS as soon as you port. We're running south. Clifton, okay. Ack, I fell. Probably the wrong way. Oh no, I see. This really sucks. Um, I can perceive a problem here, namely dying. That, uh, That didn't work that well. Oh, wow. That's hilarious. Okay, healer. Yes. Teleport. Uh, Diogel. Because I've done the first part. And this time I'll necro too. Oh, port to Camelot and bind. Right. Yes. I forgot. Camelot. Where is the bind stone in Camelot? Up by the castle somewhere? Anywhere?
Oh. Used to be you could only bind... Used to be you could only bind at the stone, wasn't it? Maybe I'm long ways out of date, but... Okay. Diagio. Oh, Bindstone Mistress is right there. Okay. Okay, let, let me... Let me necro up. It takes a minute. Well, 20 seconds. No, I know why, Duncan. Because um, you're going to toss away the stone and get a new one, just as you do in Hib. Um, I remember that. Same quest, different realms. Okay, stuck. Don't remember where we're going from here. If I knew. Oh, you were trying to take a shortcut, right. Sprint. Yeah, I've done this on two hip characters, uh, mid character, and one alb, I think. That's it. So I have done this because Richard took me out here. But I haven't done it any 24 times or whatever. You've done it there. That's That's awesome. Thanks very much, by the way. Don't remember what the mob is. I've got my audio effects turned off, so when there's no spells happening here and no music. Right. Um I'm never sure if the audio is cut out or not. Oh. Oh, that was you grabbing a pet. Okay. I thought, oh, add. No. I don't think I want to have any orc chums. At all. It's a lot further here in Alb than it is with Nail. A lot further in Alb than it is in uh, Heb, seems. Plain of Gwithnail. I would I would guess this is the demon. Okay. Um, all the buffs are up. enough. Now we get out of the way and then uh, work back, right? Right. Eventually, it'll get onto it. Now, I'll remember to bind right here. 
because why not, right? There. Now, destroy stone. Yes. Hey, lady, I need another one. Thank you. Okay, port to Weirial. And find Honey Tart, who was where? Over here, right? Wow, you should notice the distance when the difference when the minstrel arrives. Okay, Honey Tart. Finish. Okay, so we get the ancient Roman coin for what it's worth. Oh, then I get the next quest, right? Honey Tart. Give me the next thing, except. Then. Right. Nichever. Okay. And where are we porting again? To Diodule? Was it Diodule? Diodule. Okay. Necro up. Oh, yeah, got to talk to the dude up there still. But I can do this part. Oh, I forget that even exists. Lord only knows where it is on Bison UI, too, for that matter. Go and find said demon. Oosh. Stuck. Ah, okay. Been a long time, been a long time. Broadly speaking, I hate doing quests. I mean, I'm glad to get this one because it's got an obvious reward and everybody does it and that's all cool. And I appreciate the help. But, um... I usually spend as much time in games, any of the games, trying to avoid doing quests as that I can. Now, what does the ancient Roman coin do? Oh, I see. It's an item I could use. Okay, it's not that bad. Well, it's kind of ironic because, I mean, when I played this game originally, I played on the role-playing servers because that's fine. I could do a little bit of that. And uh, when I played Star Wars Galaxies, I generally joined role-playing oriented guilds, even if I didn't do a lot of role-playing. Um, and you'd think that that would, you know, go directly with quests rather than just going and bashing on things until you get the experience. But I've always liked just going and bashing on things. Don't see that every day. Nor giant newts. Hmm. But then this is another one of the um, areas I don't know. I really don't know. Map. Yeah.
But that ancient Roman coin doesn't look that bad as an item. Is it? I didn't give it a good look, but... Ah, yes, your orc chums. Slash 8%, thrust 8%, heat 8%. Hits 24. I can work with that, I'm sure. Um... Well, no, I know we get the ancient copper necklace, but I'm going to try and template this guy on the cheap, right? Probably not going to succeed because I do want to template him well enough. But uh, I could use that in the jewelry slot. Yeah, this is my hope. Okay, good enough. Done. Yay. For a moment there, I thought, oh my god, I've forgotten to get a stone. Oh, you did. Oh, no. <laughs> I was worried that I had done that. And then, uh, because it had question mark on my UI there, and I thought, no, no, I left it in the front page. That's why. Well, there is an easy solution. Yeah, just go die to something. Um, okay, destroy the stone. Shift D. No. Close. Pick it up. Shift D. Yes. Oh, I'm so remorseful. I, I lost another stone. Thank you which I put on the last page, and this time I remember to stick it down here so I don't have mass panic there for a second. Um, we go down here and sell that one small stone so I don't get confused by it. And... Teleport to Weary All. Chummer will send you home. Yep, sure. I got home the old fashioned way. Okay, sprint. Talk to the woman about old coins. And get the reward. How's the copper ring? Not as inspiring. I gotta say. Okay. Talk to her. Get the next one. Off to... Person on the side of a building named Ninchever. That's right up here, isn't it? No, right there. Right, okay. Nichever, thank you. Go to Cardiogel. Teleport to Diogel. Right. And then run up the ladder. Talk to his nibs. Thank you. Jump down, find the taxi, and say stick. Now, I do need... Oh. I do need to be a pet. With consequent delay due to yes, caster. Good to go. 
Same old, same old. And you have to do this like four times, right? I know, hit the J button. Go find the demon and kill it. And then I think we do it one more time and get the actual necklace that's worth it. Right. Three or four. Yeah. The problem with trying to work out a template for a class that isn't, for a character that isn't 50 yet, is you don't know what you have for raw gear. And mostly the gear I have is absolute crap. So I figured I was going to end up getting the 50 and then going somewhere like, I don't know, the Dragon Zone or whatever, and pulling red mobs until I got decent rod gear to plug up my slots with and then I can work out what needs to be crafted after that. Or I'll do it the old-fashioned way and just grind a pile of money and then go buy it. What? You're thinking of something, PNA? Or was that just sort of a general dull for the world? <laughs> yes. Yes, well, actually, I drive a smart car, so, in the real world. Um, and that was a gas-saving measure, too. Yes, I can see that. No procs. Oh, I have an awesome sound kiss system in the smart car, actually. Well, I tell you what, Viscerant, go on YouTube and do a search for Shaquille O'Neal and smart car because there's video of him getting into one and driving it away. They're massively roomy inside. Um, I'm basically six feet tall and there's a good four inches of room without having to slouch or do anything different above that. So unless you're like six, eight or something like that, you'll probably fit in there. Okay. Same sequence. Destroy the stone. Sob story. Give me another one. Thank you. It's in the right spot. Um, then teleport to where we all. Talk to the woman over there. Just a sec. No, I didn't. Um, what 
what am I getting now? Stagger. Finish. Um. Oh. That's what it's doing. Boom. Finish. Oh, it's a standard staff. Oh, it's got a good damage, though. Okay, get the next one. Accept. Part four. So, I will switch to using that. The Chiver. So now, with that thing, actually, not salvage, here. So that's a direct direct damage coal. That's that's a nice amount of damage. Um, so, Diagel. Teleport. Diagel. Go up the damn ladder again. Yes, okay. Deja vu all over again. Get that. Come on. stuck and sprint okay so the ring isn't so interesting but the coin isn't bad I just gotta remember not to sell a thing by accident And I'll have to try this Zot out and see how. Ancient Brass Shod. Staff of the Shade. Okay. Actually, this is worth a reasonable amount of experience here, too. That's nice. I mean, I'm already 48.3 here, so maybe by the time this is done, I'll be 48.4 or 48.5, which would be cool. Um, you don't get Phoenix eggs or anything for this, do you? Um, don't be alarmed, but there's a blue-green algae following you. <laughs> That's really funny. I didn't know you could have those as a pet. Or that you would want to, actually. Sure. See, I, I got my minstrel to 50 and I ran around with her a little bit and then I realized that um, if I want to run around on the frontier, I really need to template her, which was, I mean, I'd been thinking about getting a necro anyway, but that was what drove me to do this. So I want to template her and then shuffle money over to template my scald and stuff like that. So. Oh, can't use that yet. Okay. 
Right. Okay. After Kamulodnum. Keep whacking that mic. I'm sorry. Probably going thump every time. Okay. Um, destroy the stone. Get a new one. Yes, I'm, I'm just amazingly irresponsible and I keep losing these stones. I'm sorry. There, stone. Oh no, not quite. There, stone. Then, where else? Is that what's there? Zombies? Like I don't spend enough time around zombies? Yes. Oh, it comes anyway. Okay, there. That's that done. Awesome. That can be flogged. That can be flogged. Those are going to be kept. Um, and that's, that's all she wrote, right? I can go back to the frontier and carry on carrying on getting the last 1.2 levels. And I'll take some speed while I'm at it. Thank you. Frontier. Okay, okay, worth noting. Um, no, I want the actual vault somewhere around here, right? Vault keeper, and we're going to stick that and that. And the staff in there because I can't use it yet. When can I use it? 50 or? Or does it say it in here? It doesn't actually say. Huh. Okay. Thank you very much, Maddie. That was really helpful. I really appreciate that. I'll just whack the mic again. Right. Okay. Um, right. I can go from here. Okay, buff. 57 more seconds. Okay, whatever. Boom. No, can't do that. Okay. Um, map. Renaris. And teleport. Let's go get ganked by somebody. I want to go that way, but there is no gate. Gate. Go west, Yanavan, right? 
Yes. Suppose I should look at the realm ma map just to see. Okay, yeah, we own most of everything. There'll be some mids running around, probably, right? This way more. Wish this map was smaller in some senses. Oh, did you? Okay, and that is where I'm aiming, right down in here, right? Right here, in fact. Ah, Duncan. Okay, and we are there. Oh, hey, yeah. I did forget the prey. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm sure that's true. My quick chorus of short people got no reason to live. Oh, Richard, um, what happened with your uh, polearm and that debuff? Did it make a big difference? I forgot to ask, since we got all dead and everything. Gotcha. Uh. I forgot I need to be taking my Elliot wine if I'm getting any. There they are. I'm putting them right at the top there so I know where to look. Wow, those really are short. Really short. If I can pull from the far side from here.
funny. Honestly, do better if I get into melee, I think. If it is, then how come Hib has its baseline on so many classes? should look at that too since he's doing more damage than I am typically. multiples, aren't I? fighting. No, no. I'm missing your point. Just elling. I can't move to interrupt a cast. That's kind of funny. what I'm recording.
Okay, that didn't work. Yes. Oosh. Okay, um... Five bottles would get me 48 and a half, but I don't think it matters that much. So, I saw this Old Frontiers teleporter. I'm going to have to check that out at some point. Oh, thank you. Oh, is it? Okay. Where does it actually take you? Anywhere? I thought maybe they'd put it up as an instant or something. Surprise, it deletes your character. Okay. Oh God. This is you on your level one hunter back in 2001. You shouldn't have pulled that last time. I'd be sitting through thousands of deaths on hundreds of characters. Let me out. Thank you. Gate was over here, right? Yes. Oh. No speed. Want speed. Did get rid of the death. Yes, good. Um, I, I don't really care which ones. Ah, hello, Duncan. Is this more of them here? Sure. As long as they drop wine, I really don't care. Oh, this is the same bunch. Okay. Duh. And yeah, I can actually pull it quite a ways away. Different angle, didn't look like the same bunch. Or, I'm very unobservant. Why didn't it stack those? You're a cool person there, Duncan. Making that poor LL Sage kill their own kind.
That didn't work very well. Hit the wrong button because there's too many resists. One of those. for the champion. Crit there. Um, forty eight point four, twenty four per cent into the fifth bubble. Right, I forgot. I was doing that too. Checking to see what he mob was doing. Yeah, they're worth 2% each. So, you still have to kill a lot of them. Then the 10 bottles of LL wine will make a huge difference, so it doesn't really matter how much each of these things is worth. No, no, my mob. Thing quickly. Back here. It's your pet. Too easy. Oh, that's all right. He ran away. Did you get him? Uh, 
Ah. Uh, right. They should. They should have no bad faction for Hibs, you think. Ooh, a single foil beef. Some foil beef. Some foil beef. It's okay. Um, now, do I have more than 10 bottles of LO wine now? I do. No. That might be all right. What am I wearing now? That's better. 38, what am I wearing right now? 28, that's better. It's still crap, but it's better than what I had. Okay. Salvage. Ah, another thing I can't get rid of because my level isn't good enough. Lots of people here. Is that the same guy again? I'm surprised he didn't jump me when you and that other um, mini were running off to the east there. Unless that's the way he fled. I know, I know, but you know. I'm about ready to go turn these in anyway. Wow. That was me spinning up out there. there. One nice little macro. I can watch my fight and watch the enemy there at the same time. At least when I except when I'm starting and have to select something.
realized I hadn't kept all these up. And, you know, these nibs over there, uh, actually does want to come over this way. Wolkar. Casimir. Oh yeah, sure. Of course. Um, except when I am brain dead. I can't remember which direction things are in. Okay, so that done. These get turned into somebody in Sauvage. Right. Um, probably tomorrow, but, um, Sauvage, the other Sauvage, um, but it'll be pretty close. Uh, no, it won't. No, because I'll be 49 tonight, um, with some luck. Leonette, right here, right? Yes. Depends on how much this gets me, I guess. Okay, so that got me 48 and a half. Um, yeah, it'll be tomorrow at the, at the absolute earliest, I'm sure. Where the hell's the trainer? There. Okay. Well, either that or sometime tomorrow. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Oh, I got three more of those to turn in. Um, what are we turning in here? Phoenix eggs. And we have a pile of soil of Albion to do. And three more bottles of LL wine that I forgot. Okay, sure. I see. I don't know if I'll stream it if I'm on tomorrow because I don't normally stream. Um, then, but add me as a friend if you want. Um, or I can go into my chat on my channel and just type in there that I'm on. Um, sell. Oh, thank you. Somewhere around here is a merchant, right? There we go, that'll do. No, 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 it isn't at all. It isn't at all bad in that sense. Um, it's actually really quite handy. three plot which is good too okay so train um can't do 49 there can only put them in here and that's it that's what we're getting soul breaking cackle i don't even think i use that train Okay. 
Um, so I have the soil of Albion to turn in and then reassess where I am, but I don't think that I'm going to get. We want to go west. Why is it? Wow. Doing this locks everything up, including turning the compass. That's funny. There we go. West. The other west. Um, okay. West. Sprint. So I'll go turn in the soil of Albion here while I'm waiting past Ralph on the timer. Six and a half minutes. Um, I actually have probably got some unspent round points too that I think about it. Two of them. Okay. Yeah, so when this is done, I'll be close to 49, but not 49 yet. And then maybe if I get a chance to play tomorrow, I can get to 49. Don't know about that. Well, maybe I won't get ganked this time since that person didn't. Always nice when that happens. Okay, stop running. Bring that in. Okay, so... I now need 2.7 bubbles still. So getting another 10 LL wines would probably get me another 2 bubbles. I hope. It's going to slow down. I'm actually really happy that, I mean, I'm not even 50 and I'm already at 2.8 plat when I spent 4.3 plat. I'm actually doing pretty good. What does skin cream do? I've heard people talking about selling it, but I don't know what it does. I haven't looked it up. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Buy your way to success. Yeah, I could look at that. Depending on how much it costs. Two ninety nine gold per stack of ten. I don't mind cheesing it. The point of this is to get this character up to fifty so that I can go farm stuff. And then, I mean, I'll RVR with them if, if it turns out to be entertaining and to get some realm points because that'll make things better. But um, I can cheese it. I don't care. I'm not proud. Really what it is is I'm really tired. Okay. Didn't click in the box. Well, did click in the box. It didn't do it. Skin cream. Accept. OK. 
Yeah, so two ninety nine is probably the lowest price. But no two fifty. Can we beat two fifty? <laughs> no. Not yet. Nope. 220. On page 9. I'll buy some of that. Skin cream. 10 skin cream. 220. Buy. Yes, I'll pay the tax. Where do they get turned in? <coughs> Chelsea Stillman in Camelot. Okay. Excuse me. There, that's enough off of that guy for now. And I will go find out what they get. Okay. When I pour it in, in here. Doors. It's strange. Yep, see. Okay, I am at 48.7. Okay. Boom, 49. Yeah, three more stacks of those, which I have the money for, and I don't have to worry about leveling up. I can do that. It is cheesy. I agree, but whatever. Entrance. This is the easy way to do it, but the point of this character, other than the fact that I, I do want to play with the character and see what I can do with it and try different specs and all that sort of stuff, <laughs> well, the point of this character was really to uh, try and make some money for other characters. Okay, now. Well, hopefully, I don't know that. Love that. 250 gold for 10 times skin cream. No problem. 100 gold for skin cream. That's somebody just putting one up there at 100 gold, hoping to catch somebody who isn't reading. The only one there, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. I'm buying all the cheapest because I'm not running around to go get them. So why not buy? Oh, this is the guy I bought off of before. I, uh, yeah. And uh, there should be another one on here, I think, too. Bye. Any more, dude? I'll make you rich. Well, richer. You got lots of crap for sale. Okay, that's three of those. So, back to Kamalodnum. And whatever her name Stillman was. Oh, Chelsea. Yet another spelling of Chelsea. 
Uh, yeah, um, I have 31 Phoenix eggs at the moment, yes. That got me 50 and a half. So another one of those, or two of those. This is getting expensive, but then that's what the farming is for, right? As a matter of fact, where do you farm skin cream? I should look that up. Okay, there was someone here for 250. More liches, okay. Bye. Right, okay. So I'll buy two of those. Because for sure and certain, if there's some left over, I will have a character who wants it. No, no. Master Arthur. Hey, you. Camelot. Wow, I didn't know that existed. That's cool. And having leveled, I don't know, upwards... 50 characters on live in here or whatever, not 50, 30 characters. There we go. Uh, about one more than I needed, but that's okay. That's what the vault is for. Okay, it cost me a lot. Um, but still, uh, it's very cool. Now, yeah, Frontier. I can dump that in the account vault. Here, account vault, skin cream, into the vault, thank you. And then the actual vault has, come on dude, open up this stuff. So now we can use that staff and I just replaced that one up there. I don't really want it to do that, do I? And the ancient Roman coin was the one that had, it's okay. Not, not brilliant, but it's okay. I can use that. It can replace whatever's here, right? Which was meh utility anyway, yes. Okay. And the ring is crap. Power four, matter eight. Yeah, I can do better than that for a ring for sure. My other ring is uh, one I bought for way too much. Ring of Arcane Gestures, which is 15 strength, 56 points, 24 points of acuity, all magic skills plus five, and has 10 charges of a dex quick buff for an emergency. So that one there, I, I want to keep. Oh, thank you for the clip. Yes. Thank you very much. So that thing was worth it. And I'm going to need buckets more money. And of course, now I have another character to add to the the channel break which i'm going to have to remake so okay i think it's not as long as i normally broadcast it's not even three hours yet it's two hours 40 seconds 40 minutes but um i think this is a logical stopping spot because i'm going to have to work out a template and figure that out and go farm a pile more money to pay for the template etc um and that would be the logical next thing to do then i can go spend time whenever i get a chance to play trying to make some more money here and 
take it from there. So uh, thanks very much, everybody who dropped by. Um, if you just showed up, well, if you just showed up, you're a bot, um, it looks like. The other ones are peoples. So hello, peoples. I don't care about the bots. Um, thanks very much. Um, I am don't know who I'm going to be on as next. It's good odds it'll be my, my infiltrator again and go out and do some RVR before I forget how. Um, so we'll see. But have a good night, and thanks very much. We'll see you on Sunday.